Hey there. Are you ready for this? Chef Todd Fisher in my kitchen here on the beautiful Monterey Peninsula. Today we're going to do a sensational pasta with tortellini, roasted butternut squash, sugar snap peas, and a little crisp prosciutto. I like to call it snappy tortellini. Let's get started. Alright, so once we have our butternut squash diced and on the parchment lined sheet pan, we're going to go ahead and put a little olive oil on there, a little salt and pepper so that we can throw that into the oven. We're going to take the Kirkland brand extra virgin olive oil from Tuscany. It's got those very classic Italian uh, flavor profile of the real deep olive flavor yet still kind of subtle fruitiness to it. It's fantastic on this particular dish because it's going to enhance the flavor of all the, the ingredients going into it. Okay, So we're just going to take a little bit of that and that goes on, just a little drizzle. And then once we have it on, we can take a little bit of our salt and pepper. So we've got a little uh, sea salt here, that goes on. And we also have a little freshly cracked black pepper. Okay. Then we're just going to take, take that and kind of just toss it gently on the sheet pan to coat it. And uh, this is a great opportunity to moisturize and get yourself, get the fingers all nice and uh, glistening and plump. All right, once those are on there, that's really it. Take that, pop that in the oven, 15 minutes for at uh, about 375 degrees. It'll just get a real nice, soft, still hold its texture, but it'll be nice and delicious. All right, let's get our prosciutto onto a sheet pan. That's going to go into the oven about, you know, by the time you get it unwrapped and you fumble around a little bit because your hands are all slippery now from the olive oil. You get that laid out on a sheet pan. You've got it, your squash should be about five, six minutes into it. This only needs about five or six minutes in the oven just to get nice and crispy. So what we do is just take that prosciutto, nice and thin. You can see that I can almost see through it, but can you see me? Lay that out there. Get those spread out. We're gonna put four or five slices into the oven. So once we have that laid out onto the sheet pan, we're gonna pop it into the same oven at 375 probably about five to six minutes just until it starts to get crispy. There we have our beautiful roasted butternut squash. And there's our crisp prosciutto. As you can see, it's just nice and brittle. Go ahead and take that and go ahead and just while it's nice and hot, go ahead and crack it into our little bowl. So that's ready to finish our pasta at the end. So to get the sauce started, we need a little fresh garlic. And we're just gonna take a couple of cloves of garlic and just smash those under our blade. Nice big plump uh, cloves. That's Christopher Ranch California garlic. Then we're going to take a small dish, cheers, set that off to the edge here. Okay, put that on our tray and we'll move over to the stove. So we've got a saute pan on about a medium high, not too hot because we do not want our butter to really burn. We're not doing a tortellini and brown butter. In goes our smashed garlic. We just want to let that kind of cook until it gets fragrant, perfumes our butter a little bit, and uh, get nice and tender so we don't have really raw garlic flavor in there. We're going to go ahead and add our roasted butternut squash. We just want to toss that a little bit, again, coating it. We need a little bit of that beautiful Kirkland uh, chicken stock. I think it goes about two cups of that. This is a divine chicken stock, very rich, very robust, great flavor. Gonna add just another touch of sea salt and black pepper. So I, we've got our beautiful fresh tortellini pasta. One of the great things about fresh pasta is it cooks a lot quicker. You'll hear a lot of times you hear the term al dente, to the tooth, right? So it's still got a little bite to it. It's hard to achieve with fresh pasta. And, it, but it, and again, it, the nice thing is it doesn't have to cook so long. So our sauce is just about ready. We're gonna go ahead and drop this in. We've got a beautiful rolling boil of salted water. So in goes our pasta. The whole cooking time is about four minutes in total. So at two minutes, we want to go ahead and give them a little stir, make sure that they're not sticking anywhere. And at about two minutes, we'll go ahead and drop in our sugar snap peas to give those a nice little blanch too. Our, our broth is just about done with the butternut squash in there. We're gonna have a fantastic pasta. All right, so our pasta is floating, just about done. That's the sign of fresh pasta being cooked is the fact that it floats. We've got our stringless sugar snap pea here. We're gonna take those, dump those in just for about a two minute kind of a blanch on them, take the raw edge off them. Love the fact that Costco brings in the already cleaned, ready to go stringless sugar snap pea. Makes life so much easier. All right, so in go our snap peas. One or two stirs. Our sauce is just about ready. That nice broth with the butternut squash in there and the garlic. When I, whenever an opportunity arises, I love to go straight from the boiling pot 
right into my pasta sauce. The, the natural starches of the pasta are still there, so the sauce kind of clings to it, hugs it, gets nice and cozy. So straight out of there, drain off some excess water, and in it goes. So we're gonna toss that pasta around a little bit, get it coated, head over to our uh, block to get it served up, and uh, we're gonna finish it off with that beautiful crisp prosciutto and a little shaved grana padana cheese. While we're here, we've also got a little bit of fresh basil. I just wanna tear some leaves, drop that in there. So we've got that really great, vibrant aromatic in there. Make sure we get a little bit of each. Get all that bright color, right? We eat with our eyes first. Mmm. Mmm, beautiful. We're gonna take a little bit of that crisp prosciutto, and you can, you hear that? Oh, crispy. Crispity, crunchity, and fun to eat. All right, that goes on. A little more. Can never get too much prosciutto. And we've got a little bit of our grana padana cheese. Grana padana is uh, just an aged grana, Italian from eating grain, so you have those crystallizations that happen in there from the sugars. Uh, you could use a sheep's milk pecorino if you wanted to, a little Romano Asiago, whatever cheese you want. Just something sharp to balance out. We've got that rich butter in the broth, the, the nice roasted butternut squash and that beautiful Kirkland olive oil, as well as the riches of the uh, crisp prosciutto. So we want a little something sharp, something with a little uh, spike in there. Take a little bit of that grana padano, shave that off the top. Oh, we got a little fresh basil leaf we can put on there for just to make it look beautiful. Just a little extra pinch of pepper. And there we have our snappy tortellini.